overall the European response has been better than what would, would be expected at the beginning. I think there was more unity, more, more fast response. Um, then you can argue whether you know, some measure is better than another. But I think overall you, Europe demonstrated some kind of united front yeah. facing yeah. The, the crisis. And clearly, um, we all understood what is a dependence on gas coming from one source. When that source changes, all of a sudden, Just attitude. Just you there. You and I have talked about this for years. We knew that Europe depended too much on Russian energy. People right. tell me, oh, Mr Putin changed. I don't believe that. I've looked at Putin's wars for 25 years. Why did we do this, Francesco? Look, <clears throat> remember Libya? Mm -hmm. When Libya happened, um, no one really thought about how much gas we were coming in, into Europe out of Libya. Then that was basically cut off after the war. And where did that gas come from now, from Russia? So it, it's a sequence of events that yeah. led us there slowly. Uh, step by step, you can say. But at the end of the day, I think this is a big wake-up call. It's, it's, it's too much gas, first of all. Too much gas used in a stupid way. Because burning gas to produce electricity is today stupid. You can produce electricity better, cheaper, without using gas. Mm. Gas is a precious molecule, and you should leave it for those applications where that is needed. Chemical applications, ceramic, glass, paper industry, there are industrial uses of gas that need to be protected. Spare gas for them. Stop using gas for heating, stop using gas for generating electricity when there are alternatives that are better. So let me just get this right. Building up infrastructure between these giant fields in the Middle East, these giant fields in the Eastern Mediterranean, building up the infrastructure links to Europe rather than investing that same money in renewables, that, that's a fool's errand, is it? I think it's a big uh, mistake and it will come up with the stranded costs on the way. Uh, I think um, people that do that probably don't understand the dynamics. Overall, I think there will be a reduction of gas consumption in Europe across the board, coming mostly from those, like I said, stupid users. So burning it to generate electricity is not smart anymore. There is a better way. Burning it to heat our homes is not intelligent. There is a better way. So, similar question, and we are up against the clock, I'm afraid. Similar question to I asked Ignacio as well. Is the move to net zero, the move to greater renewables in Europe, is it actually going to be turbocharged by this current crisis? I think yes, definitely. Because on top of the economics, on top of the climate, there is now security of supply issue. So you have a combination of three factors, not two. So definitely there is an acceleration there. It, it will come up. Of course, it will take two, three years. But you will start to see a dent in gas consumption going forward. No question. 